to our Monday night game. I'm your host, Madeline Burke, and I'm so glad to be back with you because this is really my favorite time of the year. I mean, baseball's just getting started, but we've got the NBA and NHL playoffs in full effect, and the 2019 NFL Draft is just days away. But NFL Draft Trivia Night, that is just getting started right now, right here on HQ Sports. And you are on the clock. Well, you're about to be in just a couple of minutes, so stick with us here. But first... Here's how tonight's game is going to go. I will ask you 12 okay, rounds of questions on NFL Draft Trivia. They'll start out as easy as catching a lazy spiral pass, and then they'll get tougher than running a sub-4340 in the combine. If you get them all right, and you'll take home a piece of our $1,000 prize. $1,000! You can put that towards a jersey, maybe, for your team's star rookie-to-be. It's going to get drafted Thursday night. All right, you remember that we are still in season three of HQ, right? So even if you don't make it to round 12, you'll still earn points for every question you answer correctly, helping you to earn free passes on trivia questions and sports rounds and extra strikes in words, making every HQ game a little bit easier to win. And if you pick up a points multiplier right now, you'll get those passes and strikes even faster. Now, they're in effect through our season finale, which is coming up in just a few weeks. Now, before we get started, right about now is when we hear a lot about draft prospect stats, like their college record and combine numbers. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that the internet was so abuzz that Kyler Murray measured in at 5'10". So earlier today, we asked you on Twitter, what top stats would be on your draft card? Well, Tim Terry says he is great at keeping an entourage down to about four people. That is so Vinny Chase of you, Tim. I am here for it. Uh, Gordon James, he says he's got elite snack gathering speed during commercial breaks. Oh, gosh. This girl is also elite at getting those snacks during the commercial breaks. I am here for this. All right. Now, if you didn't see our tweet from at HQ Sports before, drop your answer in the chat right now. As for me, well, much like Kyler Murray, I'm also 5'10", so please be as impressed as y'all were with Kyler's measurables. And though I've got an embarrassingly low vertical, I'm a great locker room addition, and my touchdown celebrations are strong to quite strong. So I'm here for it. I can just feel my, draft, my name climbing up your mock drafts right now. And hey, maybe it'll go a little higher if I start giving out some cash. Will it? Maybe? Shall we? All right, let's lock it in. To all of the 108,000 players here right now, round one starts right now. All right, what is the nickname given to the player chosen last in the NFL draft? Is it Mr. Irrelevant, the Caboose, or Broadway Jeff? I'm always here for a good nickname. The last pick, well, in the NFL draft is playfully nicknamed Irrelevant. He even gets a trophy. It's like the Heisman with both a player fumbling a football. Look at this, Mr. Irrelevant, 256 right there. So Mr. Irrelevant is our answer here. 61,527 of you got this one right. Hey, the most relevant Mr. Irrelevant in the NFL today is actually kicker Ryan Suckup. He was drafted last in 2009. He currently plays for the Tennessee Titans. All right, before we move on to round two, let me give you a quick opportunity to grab an extra life. And they can help you get back in the game when you get knocked out on a tough round and help you keep your eye on the prize. You can pick one up right now, or you can refer a friend to HQ with your username, Play HQ five days in a row to earn one off streaks. Got it? All right, good. Round two starts did, did right you get now. Did the first one right? Yeah. I got it wrong. Who traditionally <laughs> announces the picks in the first round of the NFL draft? The NFL commissioner, team owners, or general managers? The first pick of the 2019 NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals select. All right, well, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, actually makes the calls in the first round of the NFL draft. Be prepared for a lot of awkward tug, handshake, dap interactions, as well as some serious, well, this. They gotta boo that man. NFL commissioner is our answer here, though. 75,075 of you got that one right. I see some of you guys buying in with those extra lives as well. But hey, it's the commish. They always gotta boo him, you know? Some people are just not as happy with that pick. It would have made it a different way. Roger Budel, maybe? No. Mm -mm, sorry. Round three. Let's go. Uh, what was the most recent year a defending Heisman Trophy winner was chosen number one overall? 2011, 2014, or 2018? Most recent. I mean, the draft process, it doesn't always favor Heisman winners. But recently, it has. Especially really, really recently. 
Like 2018 recently. 2018 is our answer. 48,778 of you got this one right. And remember that just last year, Baker Mayfield went number one overall. Now, his backup from that year, Kyler Murray, he looks to repeat that feat on Thursday. You think he'll go number one to the Cardinals? I don't know. Tell me in the chat. Let me know as we move on to round four. Which of these teams were a part of a trade that involved the greatest number of picks ever? The Cowboys, the Giants, or the Colts? A lot of teams will throw in picks to make the trade more even, but a lot of picks. Man, when it comes to the NFL trades, the granddaddy of them all is the Cowboys-Vikings deal of 1989. That also had one player going to San Diego. So Cowboys is our answer here, 54,000. 475 of you got this one right. Remember that when Herschel Walker went to Minnesota with four picks, eight more picks also went to the Dallas Cowboys. That's 12 draft picks. Draft boards making changes all around. That's confusing. We got to stay focused as we move on to round five. Compared to the current system, how many rounds were there in the first NFL draft? Were there the same amount? Were there more? Or were there fewer in the very first NFL draft? I mean, we all know how this NFL draft works with seven rounds, but the draft was pretty weird in 1936. Number one pick, Heisman winner Jay Berwanger, he didn't even sign because he could make more money in another job. Imagine that. Uh, and a guy named Bill Shakespeare, he was also drafted, Bill, not William. Uh, and there were nine teams with nine rounds, which is more than seven. So more is our answer here. 38,185 of you got this one right. And you got to remember, too, that early drafts looked a lot different than today. I mean, look at this. This draft right here in a nice little conference room versus this one in a stadium. Very different look. Very different twist. All right, we're moving on to round six. After the quarterback, what position has been chosen number one overall the greatest number of times? Is it running back, offensive line, or defensive line? Greatest number of times number one overall. Now, this answer might actually be a little bit surprising considering it's one of the most devalued positions in recent years, but it's running back. Running back is our answer. And look at this, 41,912 of you guys have gotten that one right. Running backs have topped the draft more than 10 times, but not since 1995 when the Bengals took Kajana Carter. Last year, Saquon Barkley went number two overall to the New York Giants. What position does your team need in this draft on Thursday night? Let me know in the chat as we move on to round seven. Which star player fell the furthest from expected draft position on draft day? Is it Randy Moss, Aaron Rodgers, or Johnny Manziel? Ooh, that's always tough, right? One of the most painful draft traditions since it's been televised, really, has been the suited up star waiting alone in the green room after he was supposed to be picked way earlier in the night, looking at his watch, looking at his mom, looking at the phone. Man, Randy Moss and Johnny Manziel fell to 21 and 22, respectively. But Aaron Rodgers fell all the way to 24 to the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers is our answer here. 43,887 of you guys got this one right. And you remember that his hometown 49ers picked Alex Smith number one overall instead of Aaron Rodgers, the guy who grew up in the Bay Area, who went to Cal, who everyone thought, oh, yeah, the 49ers are going to pick Aaron Rodgers. They picked Alex Smith. Hindsight is 2020. All right, moving on. Round eight. What happens if a team does not physically turn its pick in on time? They can use one timeout, but they must wait for the next round, or the team behind can steal. We're all very familiar with the expression. This team is on the clock, right? But there are no timeouts in the draft. And if you don't make your pick in time, the team behind you can just jump right ahead and steal. So the team behind can steal. That is our answer here. 32,554 got this one right. You know, this actually happened in 2011 and in 2003, but in 03, the Vikings, they got jumped by two teams before they got their act together. You got to stay ready. If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. That's from Sugar Free right there. All right, round nine. By round, which quarterback was drafted the latest? Was it Doug Flutie, Brett Favre, or Tom Brady? Latest by round. Not latest in the night, not latest on the clock, but by the round. Well, first of all, we got to start with Brett Favre. He went number 33 overall to the Green Bay Packers. Then we've got Tom Brady, 
went 199th overall, but Doug Flutie was way down at 285. Doug Flutie is our answer here. Ooh, look at this. 7,813 of you guys got this one right. This is a little bit of a TKO right here. Because I get it. We're all very familiar with Tom Brady being a six-round pick because announcers legally have to mention it every single game he plays. But Flutie was in the 11th round. 11th round doesn't even exist anymore. That's how late Doug Flutie was playing. But, hey, he still went on to have quite the legendary career. As 7,813 of you guys are going to go on to have quite the legendary round 10, I presume. Which of these teams did not pick first in both the NFL and AFL drafts? Was it the Miami Dolphins, the San Diego Chargers, or the New York Jets? Now remember, before it was the Shield, there was the National Football League and the American Football League. And six teams have selected at the top of both the NFL and the AFL. The Boston Patriots, the Chiefs, the Raiders, Bills, Jets, and the Dolphins. Now the Chargers, they are our answer here because they only picked first in 2004. 5,521 of you guys knew this one. The Chargers never picked first in the AFL draft. They only picked first in the NFL draft in 04. The two leagues officially merged just before the 1970 season. Look at this. Five, just over 5,500 of you guys moving on to round 11. Which of these schools has provided the greatest number of number one overall picks? Notre Dame, Oklahoma, or Alabama? Now, all these schools are definitely collegiate football powerhouses. Uh, Got a lot of prospects coming out of each of them, even this year. But with five players picked number one overall, the Fighting Irish, these guys right here, they're leading the pack. Notre Dame is our answer here. They're actually tied with USC. But if Kyler Murray goes number one overall, Oklahoma will join those two other schools who have had five top overall picks as well. 4,297 of you guys knew that the Fighting Irish fight strong into that number one spot on draft night. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the grand finale. This is it for all the marbles. We want to see if you've got what it takes in round 12. The final question. Over 4,200 of you guys going into this one. Can you bring it home with me right now? My question for you is this. What team is not tied for the most number one overall picks in NFL draft history? Is the Rams, the Colts, or the Browns? Make sure you notice the not in there. Not tied for the most number one overall picks in NFL draft history. Now, they've covered cities including Baltimore, Indianapolis, St. Louis, L.A., even Cleveland. The Colts and the Rams have each selected number one overall a record of seven times. Yes, the Rams actually started in Cleveland. But the Browns, well, they've only had a top five, a top pick five times, including last year with Baker Mayfield. So the Browns are our answer right now. 2,840 of you got this one right and have won tonight's game. The Browns never win anything, but you just did. of you guys came all the way through 12 rounds went in a little bit of change here gabber 1981 with 35 cents oh look at this little kitty picture right here and the french fries i'm here for those french fries jacks uh look at you guys all taking home 35 cents this is a little vintage artwork here in albert's avatar congratulations to all of you guys winners 2840 of you guys know your nfl draft trivia I'm very curious how well your mock drafts are looking, too. If you guys know this much about the NFL, who do you think is going number one overall? Who do you think the New York Giants are taking with their 6 and 17? I have questions for all 2,800 of you. But congratulations first to all of our winners. You know what? You can make a, you can make a phone call at a payphone with that one. Um, congratulations, though. Thank you to everyone for playing along and watching. And remember that we play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So follow along on Twitter, at HQ Sports. Keep up with our schedule and stay involved in any of our fun conversations. And, hey, you can follow me, Madeline Burke, at Madeline Burke. Let me know how you did in tonight's game and let me know what your favorite part of it was. And make sure you stick around to Apocalypse Movie Night on Trivia. And Words is starting at the top of the hour. I will see you all soon, though. Have a great night.